okay hello friends this is Yusuf here welcome to another uh, interesting video so uh, in this video actually uh, we're gonna learn uh, what is git and github and uh, we're gonna learn some of the git concepts okay and we're gonna do this by uh, practice so which means we'll write and then see how it does so uh, basically git is actually a version control system which is uh, widely used in the software industry so it is used to manage the source code of your application and for better collaboration so especially if you are working with a large team and there are many people working on the same software uh, git is managing uh, it efficiently to make sure that uh, we are writing uh, we are uh, creating the proper code we merging it uh, and tracking everything okay so uh, let's jump and then these are a few commands which we will learn uh, along the video uh, let me uh, quickly start uh, i'm not going to explain one by one now uh, we'll see that uh, in the action so what i'm going to do first of all so basically i have created a new folder called git demo and currently you can see there is no files the first step of uh, you know, uh, the git is to initialize a folder as a git repository which means uh, i would say that uh, git init then it will create a dot git folder okay so if you give ls hyphen la now you can see a dot git folder here uh, fine fine so this dot git folder is the heart of the uh, git which means it will track all the changes what we are doing and it will keep things in memory and then uh, help to uh, you know, retrieve the changes and so on so next thing is what we are going to do so we are going to write code right so as far as this uh, video is concerned i am just going to have some files text files okay uh, I'll, let me create a first file file1.txt and i write uh, maybe uh, file1 create okay and i save it uh, now we created a file in our folder but the git doesn't know about this file okay which means if we do git status okay it's telling that we are in branch master we'll come to branch later and it says there is a file which is not tracked by git okay just file one.txt so if you want to uh, know uh, uh, if you want git to track this file what we need to do we need to add this file and then we should commit to the git so you can add using uh, git add dot uh, which means add all the files which is not tracked or not uh, changed or deleted okay now git uh, commit hyphen m uh, add at first so a, a small message about the commit okay so now what happened the commit happened now if you're in git status it says on branches on branch master nothing to commit okay which means now git is tracking the file uh, file one.txt okay now let's see the next thing uh, now I, I want to modify the file say for example i open the file again and then i say that uh, uh, second line okay and then i save it now git doesn't know about this change right so if you go if you do git status it says you are in branch master now you say it's not telling that untracked file it's saying that changes not staged for commit is modified uh, file one.txt so based on the version git is having in his in their mind is different from the one which is there in the current working directory so if you want git to uh, if you want to make this change push to git what we need to do as usual so git add we'll add the file git commit hyphen m then uh, second line to file now git knows about this file okay cool so now this is uh, a software which is sitting uh, only on my local uh, machine in one uh, folder right so if you want to publish this to github so github is going to be uh, a service uh, which is implemented in git we can use that for a collaboration so what i'm going to do now uh, i'm going to open uh, github and then uh, probably should have the login and password okay and then you'll go to the new repository okay and uh, let me give it a name uh, git demo and then uh, let, let it be public no problem and i just say create repository so now what we have just did here nothing but git in it okay which means uh, we have uh, we have created a repository in github in the public cloud but not uh, we have not uh, uh, no uh, done anything on it okay uh, now again if you go here and create a file then it's like a redoing whatever we have done on our local working directory but the point here is we want to make our local directory to be synced with the public github so for that this is the command we have to do so we have done git init uh, in our local machine and we added a file file one.txt and we have also done a commit so next thing is actually uh, adding the origin so this command what it is telling 
uh, we are telling that uh, this particular local working directory is going to point to the remote uh, you know, github uh, directory called uh, git demo dot gat. So once you do that right, uh, now we are uh, we can do two commands which is nothing but git push and git pull. So whenever we do git push and pull it will go to this origin and then it will try to point that particular github uh, uh, no repository. Now let us see uh, git uh, first time when you push you need to use hyphen u origin master origin master. So now what happens is our local uh, directory changes are being pushed to the uh, remote uh, origin called uh, this particular path. Now if you come and then just do a refresh then what you will be seeing here our file on the txt with all the two commands and so on okay uh, so now we have learned git init uh, git add git commit git push and uh, so on now let's see other useful commands so clear git log so git log is actually the uh, history of changes happened uh, no in the git so you can see first we added the first file then we made the changes and uh, even if you go to the github you can see there are two commands uh, if you click on that one you will see what are the commits and then uh, if you click on individual thing it will say that uh, exactly what you have done so we just added the second line and so on okay so now um, we kind of know uh, about how do we push the changes to the github and so on but now let's talk about the collaboration which means uh, you want to share this project with your friend and then you, your friend also wants to write some code and then see how it goes on okay so for that what we are going to do so i'm just having another terminal here okay and uh, mimicking, mim mimicking that this is your friend's system okay obviously my uh, folder path is di different okay correct so now the next step what your friend will do your friend needs to clone the repository in his machine which means he can go to the github okay and then he can go to the code and you can click this clone or download so this url copy it and you go to his pc and then say git clone and then that one what it will do it will try to clone that git project into his machine by creating a folder git hyphen demo now if you go to cd uh, git hyphen demo ls you can see the file one is available if you see the content our uh, two lines are there not only that uh, if you go to uh, git log again the log whatever is there is still there so now at this point in time uh, your machine's local uh, working directory and his machine local working directory and the github cloud everything is sync okay now let's see uh, the possible scenarios of the collaboration okay uh, meanwhile uh, so we learned git init git clone git add git commit okay uh, let's see about git ignore as well so uh, if you want few files not to be you know uh, tracked by git or you don't want to that to be you know tracked then we can use uh, dot git ignore okay uh, which means currently uh, if you do ls we have only one file say i'm creating another file uh, maybe a secret.txt Okay, this is secret file so now if you do uh, you know git uh, status now git is seeing that file and then telling that this file is not in git repository do you uh, know uh, it's telling that one okay but uh, i don't want to uh, know uh, track this file uh, into git or i don't want to push this file into github so ideally uh, uh, you can uh, be cautious and not to be committing this file but the better way is creating a file called git ignore so uh, the so the command is I mean basically you need to create a file called dot uh, uh, git ignore so I can do in Mac like uh, touch dot git ignore so now if you do hyphen ls so clear ls hyphen la now we have the file git ignore but it doesn't have anything right so I'll nano it git ignore and I'll say that uh, secret dot txt so I just save that file okay now uh, let's do git status now it says that git ignore is not tracked but it, it is not telling about the secret.txt okay i just say that uh, there is a file called git ignore that is not being tracked but it doesn't know about the secret.txt okay because we told that it can ignore the secret.txt as of now okay so if you want to make these changes to happen basically i'll do what uh, git uh, uh, add dot now we are adding only the dot ignore file and then git commit hyphen m adding git ignore file then git push okay now what we are doing we are pushing uh, this particular changes to the uh, git which is nothing but adding a git ignore file 
Now, if you do a git log in your PC, you are having three commits, but your friend PC still have only two commits. Okay, you can see that uh, git log two commits. So your friend is not having the changes of yours. So what he can do, he can do a git pull, which means it will try to compare his version and the uh, cloud version. It will try to pull the changes. Now, if you come to see a git log, you can see both are same. Okay. Now let's into the actual collaboration uh, scenario. Uh, your friend is going to add a file, so he's adding like uh, an, uh, file two dot txt. So he's adding a new file, uh, new file file two. So then uh, the same process. He'll do git add dot git commit hyphen m adding file two, and then he'll also git push. Now he is pushing his changes to the cloud. So exactly the same uh, scenario. So here, if you come to see the git log, uh, meanwhile there is a shorthand. I can give hyphen uh, one line, hyphen hyphen one line. Oh, sorry. So it will be a short description of the git log. Okay, uh, clear. So git log hyphen hyphen one line. So now you can see uh, there are four commits in your friend's directory, uh, but here we have only three commits. Uh, obviously, we are missing one commit, uh, which is nothing but the file two, right? So here you can see git uh, no uh, uh, status. We have we are in ma master branch, uh, but it doesn't know about any changes of your friend. And if you go to ls, we have only the file one and secret. Uh, obviously, if you do a git pull. Uh, it's, it's going to look into your directory and compare the cloud and then it's going to download the uh, missing data. Now if you do uh, ls, we have the file too. Okay, cool. Uh, so these are some uh, positive scenarios, right? So let's go into some uh, uh, negative scenarios, which means now suddenly both uh, you and your friend started to edit on the same file. Okay, which means uh, he want to do uh, file1.txt and your friend is also doing uh, file1.txt and uh, he is adding the third line in file one he is actually changing uh, you know what uh, not changing so he says that file is created by user one so he's changing one of the lines okay uh, so he's uh, changing the file saving the file you are saving the file okay and he is using, using git add dot git commit hyphen m changing first line and you are doing git add dot git commit hyphen m adding third line okay now till now all good no errors okay now both of them is going to push to the cloud uh, so whoever is doing first no problem but whoever is going to do second will have a problem say for example your friend is doing the push first so now what will happen, uh, the change which was done on file1.txt by your friend will get pushed to the master branch of the cloud. Okay. Now if you try to do a git push here, assume we don't know about the changes, then immediately what it will tell that, it will try to compare your version and then the current uh, no, working uh, cloud version, it will say that sorry both are not matching, uh, so there is a con conflict. Okay. Now what we need to do, we need to manually check uh, the files and then uh, uh, do the uh, thing, okay. So now let's see what happens. So, so basically if you do a cat of file1.txt, so we have no uh, these three lines, but here you can see that uh, uh, cat of file1.txt, here we have just uh, no, uh, two lines. So you can see that this is added by the your friend, but it's not there here, right? So what I will do, uh, basically, you need to discuss, uh, you know, uh, with the, your friend and so on. You will come here, and then you go to nano file one. Okay, first thing is, okay, you you understand that, okay? Um, I have something which is not there. Okay, so there are two ways we can resolve it. First, you can check with your friend and then see uh, what he is adding, and you can change your file accordingly. Then you can try to pull. The second way is if you just do a kit pull the git itself will try to compare your version and then it will uh, open up open up this thing okay and then uh, you can just close it now you can see we downloaded the copy from the your friend version so if you do a cat file one dot txt so basically it's now uh, it, it merged automatically okay there is no conflict so it merged which means the changes whatever uh, he made is available and then uh, you made is also available now the point is that um, there is no place where both of you guys changed the same line okay so what happened your friend changed first line you added third line there is no conflict but there are some scenarios both of 
them will change the same line ok. So, we will see that in the next scenario, but as of now we do a git pull. So, it compared both the files and then it understand that the changes was done by friend and you is not making much conflict. So, it merged those two files ok. Uh, now, what you can do you can do again git add uh, because now this is your final file now ok. Uh, git add so git commit hyphen m changes to file 1 git push. Now, this git push will push the changes made by your friend as well as made by you ok. Uh, then apparently if you do a cat of file 1 dot txt this is the third line which is there in your system, but your friend uh, if you do a cat of file 1 dot txt obviously it is not there right. So, you just need to git pull then obviously his your change also will come into him. So, get cat uh, file 1 dot txt you can see change ok. Now, let us go to uh, another specific scenario. Uh, let us see both of us are changing the same line of code. So, git uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, nano file file 2 here nano file 2 let us change uh, new new file file 2 ok I put I x to x and here oh, oh. here I put you know y ok do not ask me why I am putting it ok. So, let us see this time again git add dot git commit hyphen m adding x and then here also uh, let it be no ok git add dot git commit uh, hyphen m adding y ok. Now, let us do a git push here ok you pushed first. So, no problem. So, now obviously here let us try to uh, pull the changes first and obviously it will say that there is a conflict. So, if you go to uh, you know uh, cat file 2 now you see a different uh, message here ok ok. So, now let us open it nano uh, file 2. So, what it will tell that basically it will compare both the versions and then it will tell you exactly what is the change. So, it is saying that see uh, your change is actually in the head ok. Your change is having y, but your friend change is having x which is uh, you now done with this commit 176 c601 ok. If you look into git log uh, one line you can see that is the commit id 176 ok. It, say, it tells that under this comment uh, uh, there is a change which is there which is conflicting with your change. Now, uh, both, of you, both of the guys has to you know discuss each other, each other and then uh, find what is correct ok. Maybe I think that ok x is still ok I am ok to have x then what I will do I will manually clear the uh, edit the file and then uh, make it proper. So, I delete my change. ok. So, I just do a save. So, here in this case say for example, um, uh, uh, what I do again I do a git pull ok. So, git add dot git commit hyphen m merge. So, I do a git push then obviously uh, this change will be pushed. So, here we have only one line, but I uh, think that we have uh, no, 1000 lines of code in which few lines are uh, conflicting then we will just change the conflict and then we will push. So, I think it is taking long time. So, whatever we have uh, uh, looked into now is the basic commands, but ideal scenario uh, any changes to the application will not be done directly on the master branch ok. So, that is the concept of branching. So, we will do uh, we will create a separate branch and then we will work on that and then we will try to merge to the um, uh, master branch. So, basically uh, we have seen those things git push pull and so on. So, this mer git merge checkout branch so these three commands I will uh, give it in the next video uh, because I did not want to drag it to, uh, too much. So, I think I, the next video I will post it immediately so that uh, you will have access to it ok. So, thanks for watching I hope this is kind of interesting for you guys uh, and uh, let me know in the comment section if it is helpful and uh, I will see you in the next video uh, with the continuation of this topic. Thank you.